Hello, hello people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I have a Mansara fragrance for you. A very special fragrance. Very special house indeed for me. In my books, uh, I really give love to this house because how happy it makes me easily. Any day I try any of the Mansara's just cheer me up. And it's just always a pleasure to be talking about this house. Yeah, I, as you can understand, Mansara is not sponsoring this. I'm in Bangladesh. There's no way. So when you see me getting excited about a house or a fragrance, I always buy them. I always uh, spend my money. I, I'm not like some people will be like, yeah, everybody, don't we all? But yeah, sometimes you get sponsored, you receive, fee, receive a free bottle. Uh, I do not have that privilege. So yes, I really have to spend everything that I have to get this fragrance. Keep it in mind. And really, I have to pick up the ones that I really love. So that question that I often feel like people ask me is that how come you love everything I do not love everything but I like something that I love most of the fragrance that I bought because I bought them after a lot of research keep that in mind right so this fragrance right here is a summer fragrance true and true and I believe if I'm not mistaken I am doing an exclusive on this yay <laughs> or do you go like no that that's that doesn't work wait yeah, rockster. <laughs> Just remember. Okay, so this fragrance is the one I really wanted to own for a very long time. And I wanted to review it because I believe this fragrance right here is called So Blue. Okay, this fragrance right here. I, I believe this one deserves a lot of uh, notice, hype. And if you're living in a hot summer's day, like hot summer zone, and you're looking for a summer fragrance that actually has performance, check out this review. And... Uh, little story before I start that is I tried this fragrance when I visited I uh, think two months back I visited Stully Enterprise I tried this fragrance I didn't buy it I was not very impressed initially it seemed like a little bit like a designer like okay I'll be honest I, I've written my review on Fragrantica under the comments you can see it I was not very impressed but the thing is you know I went home and I checked out I, it was on my hand I checked out that hand like until next morning I went at in the evening time I came back and the next day in the morning I could still sniff it on my hand that really impressed me the performance is not everything of course the smell comes first to me but I thought like you know sometimes you need a little bit simplicity in your rotation you do not need very high complex or you know sophisticated it has to be like a out lemon mint or it has to be like a like Sidrat Boise all the time, right? So yes, uh, I, I did my research. I read all the comments. I couldn't see any reviews. I decided to pull the, you know, let's just do. Pull the plug? No. Pull the trigger, yeah. <laughs> Today a little bit off, sorry. But I had a nice nap, nice tea, nice dinner. Let's do this review. Sorry, a little bit too long intro. Here you go, the box. Just like typical other Mansara golden boxes, you'll see I have a lot of these boxes. I have totally now 12 to 13 Mansuras now. So it has the name here, so blue. It's EDP concentration, 120 mil. The back, very quickly, uh, it has some ingredients and some information, but mostly it's made in France. That's the most important. This one doesn't come with a Mansara up here. Bottom, you're gonna get some information. Side, nothing going much, okay? So that's the box. And just like other Mansuras, it's gonna give you that pouch. If you see my other Mansara reviews, you'll see this uh, pouch, like uh, common in any uh, fragrance that Mansara offers. So it's very nice touch. You can carry your stuff. If you're a girl especially, you can carry the stuff in your pouch. It says Mansara here. Nice attention to details. Why am I rushing actually? I don't have any rush. I actually can do my work today and I can take my so sweet little time to tell you this one amazing fragrance. So the bottle here is very beautiful. If you see, this is a summer in a bottle. You can see. It's a blue slide. It gets slightly faded from up to bottom. It has very nice thick glass base. And I believe at the back, it looks pretty much like I'll show you another bottle it looks like my Mercedes-Benz cologne if you put them side by side they have kind of similarity right yes so the nice little fade and it doesn't have anything green just blue and slight see-through transparent bottle here glass here and uh, nothing doing much on the side except the front sticker okay so this uh, bottle is 120 mil EDP bottom is your uh, it's lasered I think the information okay this is made in France uh, yeah, something and it follows the batch code. It has M up top in the golden cap, which is metallic. Okay, it screws on like that. I believe this this atomizer you can take it off, but sometimes they are so hard there. It you do not you shouldn't like uh, risk it because it might break the neck, which is kind of weak side. So keep it keep it just use it as as it is. And when you screw it back, put it nice and firm, but do not press too much. It might break. Okay. 
so there you go I think it's a yeah it's a metal and inside it's like this black so when you open this you know if you have sprayed already this fragrance you can smell it very strong because this is a strong perfume this is amazing Whew. okay yeah okay sprayers are all right on this the prices on this used to be hundred eighty dollars up to that I even think if you even if you buy retail you can end up paying that much right hold on yeah sorry about that the light was really kind of bothering me it was right on the, onto my face so anyway so this fragrance it's the sprayer as i was telling you the, sorry the price i was telling you you can end up paying a lot of money if you buy retail look for discounters i think this fragrance will be available in bangladesh uh, 65 68 dollars to 70 75 dollars and it's the price of climbing so if you want to get a mansera time is right now so bottle looks really beautiful as you can see it's an aquatic underwater it looks like a beautiful parhentian or uh, if you go to fifi islands any of those beach and stuff so putting so much time on the details because it looks nice and uh, sprayer is okay on this not bad but you just need a little bit of this it's gonna last a long time there you go the sprayer just do one shot okay presentation is amazing so yes this bottle also if you think of aquatics blue summer freshes this kind of bottles come to your mind the, the blue and all those things going on the combination yes and the bottle also follow the pattern of outland mint but same bottle but this has between greenish bluish juice so it looks a bit different okay so now this fragrance what is it all about uh, this fragrance it's uh, how uh, classify this as a uh, aquatic fruity citrus floral okay that's how because I get all those elements in this fragrance how does it open it opens a very pleasant lots and lots of citrus bright citrus and a little bit of floral tinge okay think of if you love uh, fragrances like CK1 back in the time you know I have a small decant of the vintage batch this is a CK1 if you like the uh, aqua DGO the original so they all fall in the same family they have the aquatics they have the florals they have a uh, little bit of uh, citrus going on same with this but this is much higher class and performance don't even even don't even raise the issue this is beast okay so this fragrance has notes opening notes I think it has beautiful aquatic blue notes in this and it's very fresh but it's not just blue salty notes it it mixes with your fruits it has a melange of fruits just like other mansuras I think a lot of fruits in this so I think you'll get a little bit like you pick your fruit you know I, I if, if you ask me to guess I would say uh, maybe watermelon I'll I'll go like uh, be different people will get different things from it because it's very subjective I'll get pear maybe some peach um, you know pineapple no maybe but a lot of nice summery tropical sort of punchy fruit and then slowly you'll see the florals are picking in you know like the heart will be full of florals so is it the kind of floral it's total unisex or uh, bending towards women's side it is depend it, it depends on your taste okay I'll tell you one thing if you do not like floral notes in a fragrance maybe you should call it a pass because this one will later show up with its rose jasmine maybe some other florals that is white uh, not powdery sort of floral okay see through citrus uh, transparent sort of uh, florals will come in and it's very beautiful very fresh man this fragrance it will leave a nice little oily mark on your hand this is only already going to the dry down so the oil concentration on this it's huge and it makes it last like beast mode so if you're looking for a summer fragrance you asked you saw lemon line I recommend I recommend this highly uh, performance is not an issue let's just say that performance is peace mode if you spray this on your shirt you can smell this on the next day and the following day if you <laughs> so you just do not need to reapply if you have this on your clothes so performance is awesome okay for a summer fragrance it lasts a long time is it unisex in my honest opinion it's very much unisex women would love it as much as the men do it's just right in the middle okay uh, but if you do not like florals you may still check it because it doesn't give you headache okay CK1 always gives me headache in the high heat because of that uh, floral note this one no so the rose what kind of rose you're looking at that's the thing that will I think many people be curious because rose is a very challenging note you know like uh, if I show you one rose like let's say two rows you know I'll show you two of my favorite rows a lot of fragrance have rose note declaration don't soir declaration don't soir intense both I own I love them both but sometimes maybe the rose doesn't work because rose is mixed with sandalwood and pepper and stuff different fragrance they work differently this one let me tell you it has similarity to 
the pink prestigium i know many people didn't try this majority people didn't try this this is an amazing summer fragrance as well but it has a lot more rose going on it has more emphasis on rose it's heavy on rose that one so blue you smell the rose but it stays pretty much like agreeable it stays as much as you need in a fragrance okay so the thing is this one is more fem feminine than the so blue the pink prestigium then if you like this rose note in why well, the Lomo team? It has a beautiful rose note. Many people love this underrated gem. So the rose note I smell in this is just amazing. It's it's very beautiful. It's not a balmy. It's not powdery. It's just amazing. In cold weather, this one blooms like anything. So for me, also another Sikhe too. But this one is very synthetic, highly uh, s salty and a little bit like a more uh, just watery. But it has some rose note in it, which I really like. But the mansara right here okay let me tell you the quality of this fragrance and the rose note and the florals it's really good so you actually get the feel like this could be designer but it would be better than your Dior and chanel kind of designer it's the top class designer even above it that kind of fragrance this is to my nose it it, ha it changes a little bit from up top fruity then goes floral and then it'll go some musky and it stays very simple and sometimes in summers you need that it's very simple scent to wear every day and it will last <laughs> the performance as i told you is crazy and value for money a class so overall let me tell you uh, where you can use it also uh, versatility you can wear this in the summer all i mean winter colder weather also if you like those kind of nice summery scents but you can wear the rest like versace menu fresh versace puram this fragrance it has that guts you know so it will it has that balls you know the back so this will make it a nice long lasting all year round scent for me so the florals will work beautifully for the winters but for the summer the aquatic that that easy so breezy and like watery feel will come out really love this fragrance the presentation as i took a lot of time as you can understand beautiful presentation and it looks like holiday in a bottle even if you are not in a holiday or not in a cruise but you can actually be in a holiday being in the workplace or busy in the taxi uh, this will take you there sniff it it will relax you it's tropical it's very breezy you know it's like uh, some music going on you're picking up some fruits and you're having some nice lunch buffet uh, some barbecues going around throw some of it on everybody's gonna love you basically everybody's gonna love you so yeah performance is great prices are great presentation is great compliments wise it's great i think so because people notice it around me it will take down sawash boom any day <laughs> so ultimately this leaves me speechless okay and i really believe many other reviewers should look at this check out this fragrance okay overall i'm gonna give this perfect 10 for a summer fragrance i'm i'm not gonna hold back right because yeah it's simple if you are uh, more fan of something darker something complex that's the only way i say it. people might find it too simple but the majority of people it's the masses 85 to 90 percent people gonna dig this juice try it out if you haven't seen this try a sample try a decant try it it may work for you i love this fragrance amazing smell wise i do not find any weakness in this this is like one of the most perfect mansara fragrances none of them actually are bad right but it's one of the perfect ones for summer right so blue by mansara check out this fragrance take care guys talk to you soon thanks for being with me thanks for bearing with me talkative me i have a few more fragrances coming up and uh, nearby future take care i'll talk to you soon Bye bye